Hello cookbook friends and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about one pot of the day. This is a Williams Sonoma book, 365 recipes for every single day. So if you've been feeling, I've been crazy busy this past year. It's been nuts. So a one pot cookbook is not in my household and it should be. So I'm excited because Williams Sonoma does a very good job. Let's look at it. I know it's a bit of an older cookbook, but I had to pick it up because it it looks so good. So let's see. Oh my goodness. It actually is divided up into every single month, every day. Um, let's see if there's a other kind of table of contents here. Yep, it's just divided up into months. So you get what you get every day. So <laughs> maybe this is not the best cookbook if you don't want high variability, but you don't have to do it every single day. Maybe you could, that'd be a good challenge. Do every recipe every day for an entire year. That's a content thing you could do. So here, this actually looks fantastic. Uh, this, I believe, is the Italian braised short ribs. It looks so, so good, and it's on potatoes, it looks like, but it's hard to tell. Oh, here. So here's what it says. Uh, meaty short ribs go well with robust flavors of traditional Italian cooking. Um, so here's different tips. And then it says sprinkled over asaboco, which you have a page for, which is great. Um, you can even uh, serve atop a creamy polenta, which this is. And that's the page 276. Uh, so here we have our list of ingredients and our instructions. But what's really helpful and exciting for me is that there's two recipes on one page. I feel like these are very easy. And this looks fantastic. This is a si spicy simmered eggs with kale. Yum. And I like we have the, the picture where it's associated. So this is number nine, number nine. Let's see if the how picture forward this cookbook is. It seems like it actually is. There's quite a few photos. Some of them do not have photos. But again, a cool challenge would be to try to cook every single one of these dishes every day. Um, it might be a little hard. You might have to learn how to budget properly and make sure you don't waste ingredients. Hopefully they've done that for you. Here's, uh, this one's a tuna in escabiche. Still in January, this, you know, great we have a ooh spicy red bean and chorizo stew oh yum this one is a risotto with talagio radicchio and red wine beautiful something to note too when you are in your calendar phase here it actually does tell you what you could look forward to so like this is a beef chipotle chili the 21st is red quinoa with asparagus portobellos and feta so that's very helpful this is baked cod with leeks morels and bacon wow that's a stunning dish this is stir fried shrimp with sugar snap peas and mushrooms pretty simple easy dish looks stunning a lot of these dishes don't have a whole lot of ingredients, which is nice. They've kept it pretty simple, and I like the variety. So there's different flavor profiles every single day. So I am one of those people that needs to eat something different every single day. I have a hard time with leftovers. I can usually only do one day, and then I'm done. I can't do it another day. So unless if it's lasagna, I'm kind of like Garfield, I guess. So I like that these dishes are very different almost every single day. This is a smoked salmon frittata with goat cheese and chives. Very good. That sounds super good. This is a arroz con pollo. And it looks beautiful. 15 braised Moroccan lamb chops. I might have to make this. Oh, ah, we're in the middle of a kitchen remodel, so I don't think I can even make it quite yet. I'm excited, though. Baked rigatoni with fennel sausage and pepper pepperonata. Ooh, that looks beautiful, right? This is a garlicky shrimp scampi. Moving forward, we have vegetable enchiladas. Those look beautiful. I love a verde sauce. So good. Or a tom tomatillo. Um, we have braised chicken with tomatillos and cilantro. Speaking of tomatillos, 18 this is a steamed tofu with green beans and peanut sauce. Ooh, 
That looks good. And it's pretty simple too. Very fresh. I think a lot of these dishes too, I don't wanna speak too soon. Let's see if I'm right. It seems like a lot of these might be somewhat seasonal. So we're in July. You might see more, not as heavy dishes necessarily, but maybe a few, like for instance, this is a baked zucchini and tomato tian. Very light, perfect for summertime. This still summer cock of bean. <laughs> Again, still summer. So there's seasonal eating as well. Cuban style paella, beautiful. Let's move forward a little bit more going into fall. And it is a hefty cookbook, like my hand is getting a little sore. Uh, this is a baked eggplant parmesan. Well, that's a favorite during fall and winter time for sure. 29 meatballs and tomato sauce. You can tell these are a little heavier dishes. We've, we're now in October. Plus, like school season is coming up. So September, October, we're probably going to be doing a little more heftier meals for the kiddos. Spiced squash tangine. Ooh, this is a rockfish braised with fennel and onion. 20 is a chili verde. Oh, yum. 31 cider braised pork chops with apples. And I'll finish off. There's, it doesn't seem like there's any desserts in here. Let me just triple check before we wrap up today. I'm not seeing any. These are all dinner dishes, one pot. Trip, uh, truffled mac and cheese, and then one more. This is a braised chicken with tangerine and star anise. Beautiful. So this is one pot of the day, 365 recipes. You can't go wrong, like these are really easy weekday, weeknight meals for all year round. And there's seasonal eating too. So check this out, this is by William Sonoma. And if you are looking for some other cookbooks, make sure to join us on our socials, check out our other playlists. We have a ton of cookbooks we've uploaded, including one pot cookbooks. And make sure to comment and let us know what kind of cookbook you want us to look through next time. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.